Now this is a uh, standard definition here and doesn't support as many colors and everything like that. Oh yeah, perfect. Drop kicking the Santa into the TV or into into the tables. That's awesome. So something like this would be fine to if you're just working on this video, it would be fine to work on it in like a smaller color space. So let's go back to uh, the project settings. So this all makes sense. Hopefully this is make, gonna make sense when I get done talking about it. So we've got our depth here. We've got eight bits uh, per channel, which is a low amount of color uh, depth. And we've got 16, which is in the middle and 32, which is like HD now. So pretty much you wanna have the color settings set on 32 if you're working with uh, HD footage or really like camera raw files or DPXs or uh, red files which is uh, red is a camera that shoots very very high quality HD uh, footage usually maybe like 2k resolution so you would want to have the uh, the depth up high and if you're just working on some SD, you would want to have it on 16. And really, I wouldn't really recommend having it on 8 bits per channel really too much. So let's put this on 32. And you can have it on 32 if you want to be safe. That's fine too. Now we've got this um, working space here. And this is where it gets like really confusing. We've got all these different kinds of working spaces. And this is where it's like... Um, you don't, I don't really know what every single one of these mean, but I know which ones to use at certain times. So I'll go over that real quick. If you're using like a DV video, like when you use like a mini DV tape or something like that, which is usually in a uh, standard definition, you're going to maybe want to use the um, SD TV NTSC this one right here or if you're um, working in PAL you want to use SD TV PAL so NTSC is usually in like the Americas and PAL is in the European areas and stuff like that so whatever your country uses use um, that um, not a lot of people use SD too much anymore except for maybe like your local TV station where they don't care too much about quality and just mainly want to get out the video to save money. Now if we want to work in high definition you would want to um, pick something like the uh, HDTV um, REC 709. I'm not even sure what REC 709 even stands for but that's the one that you would want to pick and for like um, something that's going to be displayed on a web page you would want to pick srgb and then all these numbers so this one right here srgb iec 61966-2.1 right that's not easy that stuff's not easy to remember but just remember it's the srgb that's the and these uh will help define the color space and uh, pretty much you wanna you wanna pick which one you need for what you're intending your video to actually be on so remember srgb is web um, sdtv ntsc or pal is for dv or n not uh, anything that's not hd and then HDTV REC 709 is for HDTV. Now, if you're working with something like um, DPXs that are really high, high in color, and you want to uh, keep preserve all those colors, and maybe it's going to show up on like a f like on a movie theater screen or something like that then we want to pick something with like a lot of uh, resolution in it and uh, oops and the best one usually 
to pick is this uh, Pro Photo RGB, and that one's pretty high. And uh, I just know that from uh, reading about it on the internet. And uh, I think in CS5 it was called uh, Kodak Pro Photo RGB, but I'm pretty sure Kodak went out of business, so now it's just Pro Photo RGB. And um, that's basically what professional photo uh, color range is going to be. So that's uh, about the uh, working space. Now, it's not super critical to have the working space on, but it brings you up to the next level of making your color values that much better. So just um, use, use these um, when you know really know what you want and what you're doing. Um, match them up. If you have, if you're working with something that's got a lot of color in it, then uh, you want to match up your working space and your depth to be something that has a lot of color uh, um, accepted in its in its settings, pretty much. So that's a, a little. It's a, it's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully that made sense to you guys. And I'll be doing uh, tutorials that explain this better later on and as we go on through you'll figure out how uh, stuff actually works a little bit better but this is uh, this is the introduction to this and how to work use the working space in depth in your color settings for your projects so I'll leave it at that for now and try not to confuse you guys any much any much more I hope you guys learned some things off this one so um, Keep, keep watching for more tutorials about this kind of stuff, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial, which is going to be awesome. See you guys later. Have a good one.